Hello, and welcome to Centenary's DIY on how to apply the ashes for Ash Wednesday service. Keep in mind, there's no real wrong way how to do this. Uh, we're going to show you uh, one way how to do it. Just keep in mind that the most important thing is that you get the sp spiritual experience that you can get from uh, Ash Wednesday and the start of the Lent season. So I'm Brian, and this is Larry. Larry, what do you have there? Well, I've got our Ash Wednesday pamphlet that will take us through the beginning of Ash Wednesday and take us through the 40 days of Lent. And it's a pa Pastor Faith put this together for us, and it has scripture, and it has her reflections on the scripture. So it's, it's broken up by week, and then also by the days of the week. And then you can read the scripture, look at her reflection, and then a place for you to keep your notes and also to have a prayer list for the people that are in your thoughts to keep in this book throughout Lent. In the back, there's some extra pages. If you, maybe more things come to you, there's plenty of room to make notes in here. It also includes a communion kit because Brian will tell you how, we, how to use this. They're a little tricky, so yes. If you've never used these before, or if you have, <laughs> just keep in mind that when you first peel this off, there's a little plastic cellophane on top. You pull that off to receive the bread. And then you pull the little tab with the foil, and that way you can get to the juice. Sorry. And then we also have a pack of ashes in here for you. And uh, Brian will show you our... Yes. So, presentation for that. we have prepped a little bit of oil here, and keep in mind with the ashes, these ashes go a long way. So, what you do is just get a little bit of oil on the tip of your finger, and then reach down into the baggie, and then you can do it if you want to do it to uh, other members of your family. Remember that you are dust, and into dust you shall return. And for those of you who may be at home uh, by yourself on this Ash Wednesday, you can do it yourself just saying, remember, I am dust, and to dust I shall return. So that's a quick rundown on how to do this at home during this uh, unique system. You know, in fact, uh, Pastor Faith, we're going to run a little clip here with Pastor Faith, where she explains uh, how the early Christians, many, many of them when they first started, were at their homes by themselves, whether it be hiding out in a cave or in their homes or whatever the case may be, but there wasn't large congregations when Christianity first began. Because, when, remember, when two or more are gathered in his name, and that's all that matters, and even if it's one, you also have us in your spiritual life. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. This year, Christians around the world will be celebrating Ash Wednesday at home. The way that we'll be offering it for you is that you can take that packet and those ashes and along with a video that we're going to be posting about how to properly do the ashes, you can have that as a part of your household spiritual walk. At 7 o'clock on Wednesday, there will be a video that the West River Area Churches is putting together that is the whole uh, formalized Ash Wednesday service. You know, Christian, Christianity began in small groups, in homes, and in secluded places. And so when we find ourselves not able to become, come back into the beauty of this place, let us remember that in some ways we are returning to the way that the original Christians practiced their faith, right with those all around them.